let's say the guys and p is be upon this man so in this video we're going to learn how to configure voice over ip phones okay or telephony service all right okay so i'll open our google spreadsheet and let you know that today we're going to handle number three number four and number five voip device selection dcp configs and phone configs right okay so without any further ado i'll open our notepad to alert the steps that we're going to follow to achieve the objective so the first step is always to draw the necessary topology decorate and comment so um i didn't complete the, uh, the topology in time because i wanted to show you uh about device selection okay all right so there's some other specific devices that you should choose when you're going to configure telephony service so first we need a router and which router do we need? We need 2811 router. So just choose 2811 router and put it there. It's strictly 2811 router in Cisco packages. Make sure you choose 2811 router. All right? Okay. So let's go to IP phones. We go to uh, Vo VoIP phone, IP phones. So for IP phones, you just go to NDSS and you choose the first one. That is the one that the one that's read, read, written IP phone, not VoIP device. Just choose on IP phone. Good. Good. So um, basically, I think I've shown you how to choose the devices. The first device that you choose is a router. Make sure you choose a 2811 router. It is a standard switch, 2916. Then for, for IP phone, make sure you choose 7960 switch. I mean 60 IP phone, right? Okay, so let's just do the connection automatically, right? So we start from the router to switch, and then for the others, we do very, very fast. Good, so we've done the connection. So the second step that we do, uh, all of these IP phones, they are normally, uh, they don't have power supply. So it's upon us to insert the power supply. Just click on it and uh, drag the power adapter and insert it on that slot. So we do the same for the rest. Okay, so uh, all of them have been uh, added power adapters. Okay, all right. So let's go to our notepad to see what's next. All right, configure switch ports to access default VLAN, voice VLAN. Guys, basically, uh, IP phones normally use voice VLAN. All right, so uh, what you do here now. You go to switch and configure this interface to up till until this interface which is a phase two three four five six seven to access voice vlan so we just click on the switch okay come to cli and enable config t and now we just say uh interface range phase zero slash two to seven Okay, then switch port uh, voice VLAN 1. There's always a default VLAN 1. So we, here, it's not about uh, VoIP uh, using data and voice VLAN. It's just strictly the default VLAN 1, okay? And just hit enter, exit. Then when you go back to our notepad, you can see configure trunk port to the interface connecting to the router. So this interface connecting to the router should be a trunk port okay all right so it's a phase zero slash one interface a phase zero slash one okay then switch port mod trunk that's all exit do right then do show start you can see all of the you can see the first port is trunk and all of the other ports voice villain one okay okay so that's all about uh from here going down so what's remaining is on the router okay so the fourth step is to configure ip on the router interface and create a dcp pool for voice so remember all of these ip phones they have to get ip address and their dcp server will be this router so we need to configure ip address to this interface and create a pool to that will be responsible for allocating these phones ip addresses so we just click here and um and come to cli 
just so you know all right so enable config t right okay so uh this interface is um faster than it's zero zero so we just go to interface far zero slash zero the first thing no shutdown then we can give it ip address of uh let's let's just assume uh we had ip address of uh 10.10.10.0 slash 24. So we go back to uh, the router and I locate that uh, interface IP address of 10.10.10.1. Okay, the second class of 255.255. Let it be class B. Yeah, 0.0. .0 okay, all right. So exit. And now we need to create a DCP pool. Remember, step number five, see, four says. Configure IP address and create DCP pool. So let's create DCP pool. So we just say uh, uh, service DCP. Let's enable the service. Good. So IP DCP pool, DCP pool. Let's say voice. Create uh, using caps. Okay. All right. Then the network is, the network should be 10.10.10.0. .10 .10 Sorry, the network should be class B address zero. I want it to have class a uh, class C address ten dot zero. Okay, two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Okay, we we are going to change this one to be two five five two five five dot zero class C. Okay, all right. So uh, then the default router, default router to be uh this one 10 10 10 1 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 1 then for a voice for dcp option for voice we normally include something that's called option option 150 is responsible for voip configuration of option 150 and then let's query ip ip this one for the default router 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 1 okay exit and do right so let's go back to this interface so that we can change this to class c so interface fa0 zero slash zero then ip address to be let me just paste it and we change this to 255 so that it can be class c address all right so exit and do right all right so after uh assigning it uh, the right ip address remember previously it was a class b and now we will turn it to class c okay all right so let's check on our notepad to see the next step like the next step is to configure telephone service so how do we configure telephone service very very simple we just go to the router okay and uh after going to the router we just say telephone service telephony 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 service, then you hit enter. Alright, so after hitting enter, then under the telephony service, you specify the number of phones that you have in your network. So as per now, how many phones do I have? I have six. So we just say maximum, maximum e phones to be six. Then we have uh, the number of phones mm, should match the number of directory numbers. So just say max the n directory numbers to be six. Okay, alright. So let's specify the default gateway address under the telephone service. So we just say IP source address, source address to be this one, 1.10.10.1. Then just say port number to be port number 2000. Okay. So this is very, very important. If you don't write this, it will not, it will not work. Okay. Or right, then you hit enter. Then after this one, now we just say auto sign, auto auto assign auto assign uh, from one to six and hit enter exit and do right so we're done with telephony service so this very simple about telephony service just telephony service specifies for the number of free phones the directory numbers and write this command ip source then the ip address of the default gateway then don't forget to write this port number it's useful telephone service then you should auto assign from one to 
uh, one to six good so what's remaining now is the last step which is uh, allocate dial numbers and or extension to the phones so remember this phone should have uh, dial numbers or extension because i believe they've already picked ip address you can see okay they've they've already picked ip address because the dcp server has been configured successfully so they have already picked ip address so what's remaining is just to pick the dial numbers if i can just move over any ip phone uh, you can see under gateway there's something that's called line number it's not st set still so what we do we just go to the uh, the router and do that so to do that uh, allocate dial numbers so this is what you do this is what you do you just uh, enter e phone e phone directory number one remember how many directories did we, did we have six so e phone directory number one okay then we give it line number let me just query yes we just say number so let's say we want our extension to begin from 101 102 so let's say 101 okay good so exit then you go to uh hi e phone directory number two then we give it 102 exit then you go to e phone directory number three exit and do right so that's all about e -phone configuration and you can see these uh, this these logs uh that one e -phone, six register that one that one socket the phone has been registered so if i can just go back here and try to hover over any phone you can see that has picked line number 104 this has picked uh line number 103 this has picked uh, line number 105 this has picked line number 106 uh, this is 102 and 101 so we want to try to call how do we call them so just click on the iphone and you just try to minimize it a little bit so let's try to call this is 10 102 this is 104 so i'm going to try to call 102 and call you can see ringing out to 102 when you come to 102 you can see from 104 and it's calling so you can just try to pick up just try to pick up and you can see it's connected it's connected from 102 from 104 okay just hang up and also try to call 104 from this point so you can see it's ring 104 here from 102 pick up and it's connected so basically uh, i believe this video is really helping now to configure voice over ip phones and uh, i'll mark the sections uh, the three sections as done okay so this is all about this video please subscribe to this channel like this video share with friends and let's see you again in the next class bye and see you again thank you